Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel to all my new subscribers. Hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Maria Burrow and I am so happy to have you on my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about the universe. Does the universe listen? Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also, do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you would be notified every single time I post. And please do follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. So, I read in GL Lambert's book, by the way, GL is a relationship coach. I did a video on lessons learned from some of his books that i read if you haven't checked it out please do check them out so in gl's book he did mention how the universe listens and it delivers if i first read about the universe how it listens to us in the alchemist um by the way the alchemist is one of the best books ever written it's one of my best books so the author did mention that when we want something, the universe conspires to help us get it. I when I read that part, like as far as when I read about it, I didn't really believe it because it didn't, I, I, I never thought it worked that way until I read GL's book. And so in his book, in GL's book, he didn't mention how the universe listens and it delivers. So when I read that part on how the universe listens out, so I just, I dropped the book. I, like, I literally dropped that book. And then I was like, okay, fine, universe. I told the universe what I wanted, so I just, so I just went for it. And do you know it's actually delivered? Like, I can't even explain. Like, it literally, it's actually delivered. Like, the universe actually listens to us. And ever since... Ever since I, I can't tell you guys what it did, but it actually delivered. Ever since then, I, ever since then, I just believed that yes, the universe actually listens. After I practicalized what GL what GL wrote in his book, I took my time to read about the universe and how it listens. And in this article that I found, I read that the universe actually listens to our vibrations. It listens to what we put out there, our signals. The universe actually listens to our signals. That's why some days, if we are feeling sad, we keep finding things that will continue to annoy us throughout that day. And there are days when you wake up and you be like, oh wow, you really want to have a good day today. You find out that the whole day, everything worked out really great. And that's why if you are having a negative thought, you keep feeling, oh my God, everyone hates me. The world hates me, blah, blah, blah. Hell, you keep attracting all the negative things, all the bad lucks in the world. They'll keep coming your way. And you continue to see reasons why everybody hates you, why the world hates you. Meanwhile, it actually has to do with your thoughts. So in this article that I read, I got to understand that we are in control of all our experiences. Hmm. Guys, do you actually believe we are in control of everything, of our experiences? I believe we are and also like we're not in control of them because there are things that are out of our control but most times we're in control of most of the things happening in our lives. But have you guys actually noticed that when things... But have you guys actually noticed that when things are actually working really great, we are happy? We tend to not blame anything. We're like, God, we are so lucky. And then when things are going south, we start to blame people, the economy, the government. We tend to, to just try to we tend to just try to paint the problem on something. But I believe we can actually change our mindset towards the way we see some things. I read something in this book called 365 days of self-discipline i think i'll do a video on that so the author did mention something about complaining and i think because of that i tend to reduce the way i complain right now i'm trying to reduce how i complain about some things the author said that if we complain about something it should be that we can change it but if we cannot change it we should accept the way it is let me give you an example so let's say you go to a restaurant to buy food, right? You go to eat at the restaurant. And so they, the waiter, like the, the food they give you 
was cold and you started complaining oh this restaurant is so annoying oh i hate this food oh why did we come here and you may even tend to blame the person that that took you there oh it was your fault i said we should go here but then why are you complaining when you can simply call one of the waiters tell them can they please microwave this food for you it's cold they can actually do that for you but then if you cannot call one of the waiters how about you just sit down dear and try to manage the food like that without complaining if you're complaining it should be that you can actually do something about it but then if you cannot do something about it then at least try to manage a situation like that there are some things that we can control and there are some things that we cannot control for things that we cannot control we should learn to let it go and for things that we can control yeah we can probably control them let's say for example you want this particular person in your life right and you go oh universe deliver this person to me okay listen universe cannot deliver that person to you what if the person doesn't want you in your life but i believe that we can only attract people that also want to attract people like us do you see where i'm going with this yeah so let's say you you you're praying to attract someone someone like yourself and then the universe can actually deliver someone that also wants to be attracted to someone like you that's how it works things that we cannot control we should learn to let them go we should learn to let them go so that we can receive for example you were like for example, you are like, oh my god, I don't have money, I don't have money. Learn to let it go that you don't have money, believing that you would receive money. And yeah, you actually receive money, but most likely you have to actually go out to work for the money, to try and get the money, and then the money would come. Not as if the money would just drop on your lap. You have you have to actually go out there to try to get the money you know what i'm saying you know how sometimes they would say you would find love when you're not looking for it yeah sometimes it actually works like that and sometimes you have to actually go out there before love finds you let me give an example okay let's say for example people that don't like to go out socialize or they, they take pride in saying oh i'm a loner nobody likes me i don't like going out okay you don't go out you don't and you're not on social media like that how you get to meet people how you see other people that would see you and want you but if you want love maybe you would have to actually try and at least go out to an event go outside try to spend time and maybe someone will actually see you and like you so yeah that's how it actually works <laughs> why sometimes you can actually be seated and then it actually comes to you but most times you have to actually stand up for it and then it comes to you if you put your thoughts out there to the universe best believe you'll get a reply yes and also you have to be clear and be specific on what you tell the universe and we should also try to live with gratitude and also a positive mind believing that whatever it is we want the universe will actually conspire to help us get it because the universe listens and it delivers so i've come to the end of my video guys thank you guys for watching my videos Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.